hello traders it's Samurai trader here welcome to this video in this video I'm going to be covering once again I've done a number of videos like this on covering the trade master 2 so how to trade the trade master 2 cycle indicator using the day traders fast track program strategies to confirm your entries we now have a number of members that have the trade master indicator it is a third-party indicator it's not an indicator that I actually own but uh, some of our members are getting great results from it and I've been asked uh, really on an ongoing basis how would I trade it how would I use the indicator so the purpose of this video is to go through some tips and ideas and I want to talk a little bit about psychology as well because there's some important factors with this indicator that will really streamline your trading as we get into this I do need to say that uh, put up the risk disclaimer I should say there is uh, understanding the risk there is a risk in trading and of course I'm going to be talking about uh, some hypothetical returns in a moment I've just gone back over four days from last week and I'd just like to quote you the stats from those days now uh, they're not exactly perfect but I was pretty conservative in my approach with them as you'll see when I cover them and talk about them in a couple of minutes now if you're watching this video it'll be mainly members watching this video but if you're not a member of the day traders fast track program please visit my website where you'll be able to obtain more information on my strategies request my ebook and also be kept up to date as I'm going to be reviewing third-party indicators on a much more regular basis uh, for our members is it something it comes up I would say almost every day a member would ask me about a particular indicator for from a third party as I've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in indicators and programming of indicators in the past so we're going to be talking about that uh, uh, in much greater detail as we go along as always this be my videos are all real and unedited so if I fluff anything up please forgive me now I just want to start with this is probably the greatest book ever written about um, uh, trading psychology is the disciplined trader and this is just so important is that if you're not consistently profitable if you're a brand new trader or like 90% of the traders out there that are not profitable what Mark Douglas says in this book is this to become an expert choose one simple trading pattern that identifies a one simple trading system I should say that identifies a pattern preferably one is a mechanical rather than mathematical one that will give you a visual representation of the market behavior now using the trade master two the way I use it and the way I recommend you consider using it it's very much based upon pattern recognition as humans it's very easy for us to pick patterns and I'm going to be showing you a number of these patterns that appear in the market every day the market has a memory so this is just really important so if you are struggling with your trading the trade master will basically act as a crutch if you like it's a tool and by the way traders I have to say this look the trade master is a tool like every indicator I mean just about every indicator is a derivative of price however they're tools and as master trades people if you like we have a range of tools for different market conditions so really that's how you would use the trade master it's a tool to be used and as we move on Jim Rowan the great late Jim Rowan stated success is nothing more than a few simple principles practiced every day and that's one of the great things about using the trade master it makes it your trading very very mechanical very rules based and it's simple to apply and as you will see it's got an excellent win-loss ratio which is fantastic for either a struggling trader a trader that's been doing it um, tough in the past or a brand new trader and yes I know the indicator is not inexpensive as I said it's it's not my indicator it's a third party indicator however the investment you make in purchasing the trade master uh, when you look at the statistics and overall and if you trade it consistently it's very well worth the investment so moving right along this is important because we'll discuss the win-loss ratios in a moment but let's look at it this way what gives the casino the house edge rules and probabilities and the same when we apply the trade master now 
on the with the casino do you see the deal of missing a hand or changing the rules because the house just had three losing hands in a row of course not they stick to the rules and as we know with say blackjack it's not uncommon to see 10 losing uh, trades in a row now with the trade master out of four days and out of uh, there's probably a good 200 trades once in that time I think there were three losing trades in a row I think that was the maximum we had in that time and there's some things there which I'll discuss in a moment where you can tighten up your losses and I think dramatically improve well I want to be careful when I say dramatically but you can definitely improve the results I'm about to quote you so remember you got to stick with it but that's the advantage of this because the plots it if you like it applies a set of rules this makes it easy for to follow because members that are watching this you'll recognize the t1s the super scalper plots and you'll say well hey I could take them anyway you are absolutely correct but what the trade master does it just makes it more rules based and it's just great for assisting in developing the discipline so I want to quickly talk to you about profit targets because this is really important with any tool and any trader you've got to have an overall target what is your objective now you hear me talk regularly about that if you're an active day trader a, a very good target is 200 plus per day I mean it's reasonable particularly if you're trading something like uh, the black gold and here the charts I'm using um, uh, is uh, CL um, oil but of course you could apply it to gold silver um, uh, to NQ it doesn't matter what market you apply it to <clears throat> excuse me as long as you've got um, some volatility that's really important you, you want a trending market the better the market at trending the greater the waves and even the violent moves as we're about to, to discuss in a moment the better that'll really improve your bottom line results so if you're trading a CL it's ten dollars a tick so if you're going for uh, five uh, trades by net five ticks that's 250 and let's just say your commissions are five dollars each that's 225 so if you decide to target a slightly higher profit target of six ticks okay that's four trades a day if you now if you're after say two trades by 11 ticks that's 210 so what trade has the highest probability of achieving a target of 11 plus ticks and we'll discuss that as we go along now realistic traders if your goal at the end of a week is to end up with a thousand net per contract you need to be targeting 300 a day plus you've got to allow for down days so if you're just targeting 200 a day and that's it you wrap up for the day you're probably going to find it difficult to achieve your net 1000 you need to be targeting 300 plus and so I don't want to go on this video the purpose of this video is not to discuss money management rules etc but you've got to have a target you've got to have a compelling future and I firmly believe that trading the trade master over a three or four hour period this is a very realistic target as we're about to see so if there are two types of trades that I'm going to uh, talk about and show you illustrate um, with trend and counter trend now what's really interesting is that with this you have a lot more counter trend trades uh, than with trend trades where the trade master plots however you would usually find that the trade master is not picking up our 21 B's or our 34 B's so that restricts uh, the results that I'm giving you here I'm only giving you the results of where the trade master 2 plots as I'm going to show you in a moment so by adding the 21s and the 34s you'll probably um, increase the bottom line results that I'm about to cover with you as well now just uh, very very quickly so it is Monday the 7th of August 2017 so the week before so starting with the 1st of uh, August so over four days I'm just going to quickly read these out um, because once again this is mainly for members that have got the trade master so if we look at one of the days last week I think it was actually Friday which is the 4th and 5th of August that rolled over past midnight my time uh, there were actually it wasn't a great day with um, trading with trend um, sorry counter trend trades you only ended up over a 22 hour period up 
15 ticks if you are uh, with your with trend trade you're up 23 ticks so that's what's that uh, $380 for the day but it doesn't include your 2134 B's or even your T7's with the trend uh, another day there we had um, let me just uh, flick over to this so what day was this one okay so this was the first I think it was last week uh, we had over a 22 hour period there were 11 with trend trades. so this is actually the um, inventory day there are uh, Wednesday so there are 11 with trends there were 34 counter trends so you ended up with uh, um, 14 net out of the uh, with trend uh, 66 net trading counter trend that's 660 and 140 now I should point this out my maximum stop is seven ticks okay so that's my maximum stop and here for the sake of the exercise I've only used a target of five ticks so my stop is seven my target is only five so therefore you need to be really over 70 percent for your win-loss ratio to really make money and as you're about to see um, where we well and truly do that now where you'll dramatically improve your results once again is by taking your 34 B's uh, taking your 21's and, and your T7's with the trend uh, but also going for your runners so I'm going to cover that and show you on the charts in a moment uh, now another day here we had uh, on the 2nd of August we had there was trading uh, with the trend uh, there was uh, net 81 ticks for the day there was 62 ticks net for the counter trend now there was by the way that day there was uh, 71 trades on the third this is last Thursday I think it might have been last Thursday uh, there was uh, once again 34 trades with the trend we had 38 counter trends you're up 58 ticks net or 580 trading with the trend over 22 hours and 880 over um, uh, 22 hours trading counter trend the bottom line is these are outstanding returns and once again as we're about to discuss and I'll show you in a moment you could really dramatically improve these in my humble opinion so when to plot the trade master 2 let's get into this let me just pull up pull up my yellow highlighter and hopefully you can see this okay with trend attempt to plot the TM after every three to five candle pullback to the 3489 and t7 so because we are waiting for the t1 the white paint bar the white paint bar you'll see in a moment if you're new to this video or new to my um, strategies uh, you want to enter a trade after the super scalper plots and the reason I'm looking for the super scalper to plot is it makes it very very mechanical psychologically it will really improve your discipline and your self-confidence when it comes to trading but what you want to do is to be plotting in advance before it actually plots so therefore you're ready to go with your order now so you need to clearly understand how the super scalper plots now in the course in the videos and as members know there's 300 videos in my program just look for the ones that are highlighted t1 okay so in the starter pack uh, if you look down at all the videos just look at the titles how the t1 works how to trade the t1s and that clearly explains the super scalper now if you have a trading program where you don't have the super scalper of a t1 the paint bar simply learn the pattern it's a very very simple pattern so you don't have to have a plot because once you understand the pattern you can see it visually and that's the thing so after you see a retracement of three to five candle pullbacks back to the 34 89 or even deeper you are getting ready for a super scalper to plot now if you're trading counter trend attempt to plot the the trade master to it every t3 setup every double top or double bottom the t7 and every t19 divergence setup where you'll have the T1 or the potential to have the super scalper plot so you can get ready get ready for an early entry so at other times attempt to plot the attempt to plot the trade master to it every T9 or T10 setup now that is when you have a T10 uh, a money on the floor trade uh, or what I call the T9 it is where I know that I'm going to have a higher low or a lower high uh, get ready to plot there and I'll show you that as well 
so what you're actually doing is you're plotting the trade master in advance which just gives you a heads up and remember as traders you always want to be thinking in advance anyway what is potentially about to happen what can I expect to happen so it just takes a little bit of practice hey using this indicator ain't rocket science it really isn't and in a couple of days you can really master this and as members by the way if you've got any questions if you remember and you've got the indicator please um, don't even go back to Trempro who, who manufacture this indicator come directly to me because uh, we're using it every and I know I love it I've gone over it over now thousands of trades so come directly to me um, that's why you join and, and become as a member there I'm there to support you with it so let me help you with it so when you have a traded master two plot with trend consider taking all qualified t1s t2s t25 21b's 34b's in the direction of the trend so let me explain that if we look um, and we see that say our anchor charts confirming the trend direction or we've got a nice trending market maybe it's a good 30 percent or 30 degree or greater angle consider taking all of our trend following trades in the direction of that trend until we get a strong divergence trade so in other words it can also confirm your trend following strategies and I'll show you that in a moment and even though in the recording here in the end of the statistics I've quoted that is where we had 80 trades and um, we we're up say a thousand dollars per contract I did not even um, uh, refer to the anchor chart okay so I mentioned I also didn't take the 34 B's so there are other things you could do that will cut down the number of trades and probably increase your win-loss ratios but what I'm just trying to prove here and show you that you can be very very mechanical in your approach with it now uh, tips and ideas to improve your confidence and bottom line plot the t1 in anticipation anticipation of a t1 setting up okay it's important you learn why the t1 super scalper sets up which I've really just explained now consider using the 8 or 11 EMA or other trailing stop strategies to capture the big moves now as I mentioned I'm only targeting five ticks here that's all five ticks and as you know it's not uncommon to get a good 10 15 tick move with uh, some of these um, uh, uh, entries as we're about to see so look at what can you be doing and I've actually removed the 8 EMA because the 8 is quite sensitive uh, and if you want to um, uh, <clears throat> allow for a little more wriggle room the 11 can work really well but there's a ton of exit strategies you can use such as waiting to stay in a trade until you get if you're long to lower closes um, you know there's a ton of things there so once again I won't cover them in this video uh, you can also improve your net results by avoiding entering a trade at or very close to major support or resistance very very important traders so if you're about to go long and you've got the 200 EMA straight above you say you're right hard up against the EMA and they say up against the floor pivot there's a very high probability chance you're going to bounce consider not taking a trade at those points now there were some very blatant that I I decided not to take but on the other hand I've taken a lot of others that were really marginal that perhaps we shouldn't have taken but once again I wanted to be really lax if you like and be um, what's the word for it very conservative or I, I wanted to make sure I was giving you real results that you're probably going to replicate but you can improve those there's a lot of things you can do to improve them keep daily stats which uh, means greater um, a greater confidence so for an example take a uh, your spiral notebook not a, a note, standard notepad so have a spiral book uh, draw three columns and simply with trend counter trend plus minus so what you can do is have each of those columns and I'll talk in inches say one inch apart so over three inches in your column so you can then write down in order so say if you've got two counter trends so you'd say a t3 what was the results minus seven then you had a t19 plus 10 then you had a t7 minus seven then you had a with trend so on the fourth row down you're then putting in it was an 89b that was up five ticks okay so then it'll take you about half an hour to go back over a full 24 hours and in the rest of a column that is where you're only going three inches wide one inch for each of those three figures you want with trend counter trend and the result you can take uh, you can write down comments 
for an example there I had one trade there uh, um, I wrote down candles must close in the trade direction now but you can take comments little things that you're discovering as you're going through you know I can give you just about everything traders you require but I can't give you screen time and that's why it's very important you spend some time so keep stats now when trading divergence counter trend stick with the 1d for 2d that is the one divergence if you're using your anchor chart uh, stick with the best of the best divergence trades you want these your 2d's that is when you've got divergence on both your anchor and your entry your double bottoms your double tops your t7s your t19s classic divergence and your t3 extreme trades now with those waiting for angulation the grade of the angulation will improve your results members you should understand what angulation is and your t19s and t3 trades we've done a lot of training a lot of videos on that so really look at that and be prepared for an EMA bounce okay so remember if you're entering say a t19 trade a divergence trade and you're three or four ticks above the 34 there's a very quite a good probability that you're going to bounce there you'll get a market reversal a trend continuation so just be aware you may need to reverse your trade something for you to look at and keep your stats on now look for extreme t3 um, trades and set a high profit target t3s are great for your 11 ticks okay look for your best of the best here uh, same applies remember on that slide I said what's going to give you the highest probability for achieving 11 ticks or more well it's really your any trades after a t20 a t20 of course identifies a new trend so you're going to have greater probability so for an example a 21b or even a 34b straight after a t20 uh, is going to give you the highest probability of getting your 11 ticks you get two 11 tick trades a day hey you, you there's your 200 net a day so just consider that and once again be asking how can I do this what can I learn from this what is the best trade ask yourself compelling how can I say what I call intelligent questions now uh, I already mentioned this but I want to highlight it once more now we're about to go to the charts in a moment but when trading counter trend you need to be ready for a possible trend continuation trade uh, such as the 34b or having the trade master plot when you're focused on counter trend trading it's very very easy to miss your CT trades your counter trend trades. so just be aware of sorry your trend trades my apologies let me say that again when trading counter trend you'd be ready for a possible trend continuation trade it's very easy to be so focused on one type of trade um, uh, you miss the obvious so just be aware of that t3 trades that are within the trading range now this is something it's which is really important is that if you have a t3 trades that are within a trading range so let's just say if you had just before a t3 trade with the trend if just beforehand say within the last 15 minutes you had a higher high and then you have a t3 setup that's lower than that previous higher high within a trading range uh, that is a lower probability trade and if I remember I'll, I'll highlight that but just be aware your very best t3 trades are setting new highs or new lows all right there are much more higher probability trade if you're setting a new high high or a new high low stay out of chop and I think this is the second last slide is it traders when you see all of your EMAs converging they're intertwined they're horizontal um, wait for a new breakout just sit it out there are that many trades with the trade master because with any strategy that is where it's easy to be chopped up is once you start to see your EMAs converging now after you watch this video uh, and you want more details on the trade master if you remember or even if you're a non-member please email me directly um, we've got some uh, members that, that absolutely love the indicator if you'd like more details on it or if uh, I can share any training with you uh, please email me directly now let's now go so trader at I'm a day trader obviously and as I mentioned go to my website download my ebooks uh, even better still become a member so let's go and have a look at um, the trade master in action okay so this is the opening of the globex session so on the left here we can see and it doesn't even matter what market this is this actually is the CL 233 tick by the way this is CL 233 but it really doesn't matter 
um, what market is as long as you've got a trending market and with any strategy you go back and back test it I like markets with where you've got some good trading ranges okay that's what I'm really looking for okay now a couple of things here is we've got a 535 B now 535 B we know is a high probability trade so I plot it so what I do take the trade master I plot it there now because this is also and by the way I should point this out this is also a t3 we have more than six candles um, uh, separate and I've removed the 8 EMA by the way we've got more than six separating from the 8 so this is a t3 and it's a 535 B be ready for a bounce which is off the 34 and you actually then had a reverse trade which is a 34 B now traditionally we're very cautious of these so here I'm still including them because the trade master qualified them. now very important and I apologize I didn't mention this the trade master 2 is a cycle indicator it is a cycle indicator it works on cycles so you if you study cycles b2s b6s it's quite a complex way of trading and Roy's got a, a very very good book uh, Roy Kelly uh, called the trading method that can make you rich now some people have said well it's very simplistic it tells you nothing but hang on I, I learn something from every book if you approach it with an attitude what can I learn from this how can I use this I promise you you'll pick up some ideas out of a book and unfortunately so many traders are jaded they're so close-minded that they just you know they're, they're by walking past dollar notes on the ground literally there are some great ideas there but he talks it briefly about cycles and so I don't trade as a day trader I'm looking for my 34 B's my 89 B's as you know I've got over 12 strategies that I use so the trade master is quite a left field um, indicator something I don't or wouldn't normally use but if you want to be mechanical so I won't go into exactly how it works but hey it works so let me get back to this so what you do you'd see you're getting a pullback a potential 535 B so let's and you can see my paint bar here the super scalp now let's just say if it hadn't plotted plot it in advance okay so what this is giving me is a possible target and an ultimate target up here and that's what these hash marks are by the way this means it's hit the this is the full target and if it's just a straight line like this one it means that the ultimate target was somewhere down here when I first plotted it and I couldn't see the final target so, so here's the target but when you're trading counter trend you want to be prepared for a bounce off your EMAs okay so here you're ready for these bounces you know there's a high probability bounce we get two reversal candles okay you plot the trade master again and here it gives me my potential targets now you're thinking okay where's it possibly going to bounce again 535 okay so it actually comes down I get a reversal candle I quickly plot again and it tells me here's my extended target now what am I thinking where's it possibly going to bounce again and it did it bounced on my 200 so I go up there and as soon as I get a couple of reversal count or even one you can always move the indicator once again you see the speed of it it's instant I plot it there and it tells me okay here is a possible projection point now I've mentioned I'm only targeting five ticks so if you go back and you can see here okay it's giving me I've got a, a nice trend here I've got multiple 34 B's 21 B's I've got t2's so you can pick up I haven't included those in the results I'm only including trades with the trade master plots now very important I had divergence here here on this particular trade uh, um, it, it, okay run away there was only a few ticks in it but the reason I didn't plot it as much as the trade master would have worked on it is I had no divergence a divergence or a t7 or a t3 is critical to the rules okay so here I had divergence I plotted it I had divergence there it gives me my target up here I had an 89 B which is a trend following strategy here you would have been stopped on that one then I had a 535 200 and members you know what those are 535 200 I plotted it and I had divergence which is great thank you very much it's basically a bet the farm strategy when you've got divergence in the direction of your overall trend and if you looked at your anchor chart you'll see you also had um, a great downtrend then right rub your hands together 
and once again this is where you can use the 11 or even the 8 EMA to stay in these trades longer you might get one off one contract at plus five maybe stay in the other one uh, for much longer until you get a close back over the 8 or even the 11 it's these home runs these trades you want to be in which give you a much greater rate of return now I love the trade master on t3s so here is a t3 it's giving me an extended target of up here now it rallied up now remember our stop by the way is one to two ticks under your swing highs and swing lows okay so I should have mentioned that your stop is here the yellow, little yellow dots you see here that is plotted automatically by the trade master but it's lagging okay so that mine may not plot until up here somewhere so once again we're thinking in advance of what the indicator may do so I plot it and as soon as the paint bar the t1 plots that's when I'm in now here I'm after a minimum of five ticks so uh, here I really didn't get anywhere and notice here I've got the 420 and I've got a floor pivot just above it so we bounced off a of floor pivot we then get some divergence and finally we went sideways and finally we broke through it okay but we're right at the pivot that's where you get these lower probability trades at a pivot remember we don't want to buy into resistance or we don't like buying into resistance nor do we like selling into support so up here then I had a 200 B and just remember when you get your deeper pullbacks consider only taking deeper pullbacks if you have divergence up here now uh, we rallied up we've got a nice divergence trade set setting up I would have plotted the and it gives me here a target away down here now remember I'm only after five ticks and we're always prepared for a 34 B which is what we got so we come down started reverse I plotted trade master and up it goes it gives me a target of way up here thank you very much we had a nice t3 now here we had a t3 then that uh, let's see here a t3 of course you don't need divergence we had a t3 comes down bounced up formed a double triple top there down it came we then had a great a big picture t19 you can see the divergence there by the way you had another plot there so you're always thinking in advance where might it plot okay there it's not gonna it's no it's not plotting now it may plot here but no paint bar now here it did okay we've rallied up okay I'm getting divergence let me plot it here it's giving me a target down here moving right along okay we come down I'm potentially setting up for an 89 B here it is here okay I got my paint bar I'm in uh, we come up here no real divergence here on this one by the way but all of a sudden I get a nice double top a divergence plus I'm at a resistance area you can see the gray uh, hash line here we form the t7 I plot it, it gives me a target of down here and I've got nice divergence in I go thank you very much can you just see how I'm using it here it's just totally mechanical in the approach and once again there's so many more things you can do with it here a t3 and you would have been stopped on this trade unless you had greater than two tick stop here because here it rallied up didn't give me five ticks come down but I then had a second entry and that's the thing remember the probabilities what I mentioned earlier um, in the casino you've got to think like a casino is if you have three or four losing hands in a row are you going to change things no you keep going and I mentioned out of uh, a good I think it's about 250 260 trades there was only one uh, run of three losses and by the way uh, they were all CT trades if I remember correctly um, they were deep pullbacks actually I can't remember where they are now but they might have been CT trades and a couple of them there I could have avoided if I'd have been more particular on the entries like here okay so we had a had a loss there and we had a loss there so there's two losses in a row so by the way loss winner 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 now this is a t9 okay now this is a higher low so when you get higher low setting up right they signify quite often a new trend direction so I'm going to put plot them on here now this is a new lower high and you can see here it didn't plot okay so and that's another thing with the indicators as I've explained in other 
uh, indicate yeah, other video sorry on the trade master sometimes to reset the cycle you try it on your main candle and go for the second and third candle because sometimes it readjusts the the cycle so here I didn't get one so that's why I didn't mark in an entry but here I clicked on this new high low and it gave me an entry with a target of well up here so as you get to know the tool you can go for 10 15 tick 20 tick targets so this is telling me I'm in a new trend so I've got multiple I've got a 34b there I had this was a 34b so here it told me on this this is my potential target I achieved my five ticks I then had a 34 I could have had another entry those have not been included in the results moving along here uh, we had then two losses in a row they're included in a sense but then I had a nice uh, pivot bounce t19 trade then we had an 89b five then I had another 89b then we had uh, further along we had the opening bell which um, I don't trade the opening bell and uh, this is 15 minutes after by the way if we go and plot this and the reason there's no plot there uh, is that trade master didn't plot now here it would have and it did but it was two minutes after opening bell now you could have traded that and made money we have a lot of traders that will trade the opening bell as I said it's just not a trade I take so here uh, we had divergence that qualified and we went now this actually had the paint bar plot right at the floor pivot now I included this in the results uh, but you can see here we're straight off strong divergence we had uh, at the floor pivot so you're buying into resistance so it's a low probability trade we come on down we then get a 535b uh, that return plus five uh, then we had there a double bottom form I can't remember whatever result that was had another one um, pardon me so all of these have been included in the results so I've quoted you okay there's a your 89b uh, this by the way is a descending um, uh, triangle we then had another 89b thank you very much we had then a so once again price rallies up you get a few candles starting up to uh, plot here I'm thinking hang on is this going to be a trade master plot I plot it wait for the confirmation of the super scalper I'm in thank you very much now and here's a good example let me move this over here for you if you're using your 11 EMA you can see here you stay in a trade until you get a close on or above the 11 or even when you get a consolidation period after your second move or some slight divert once again these are the ones that are going to give you 10 15 ticks right and that's what you just need a couple of those a day so take your five tick scalps but then be looking for your nice runs okay then you had a t3 that formed into a t7 now when you have these you had a t2 um, a trade master 2 plot here just be really aware of these when you start to have you've had two or three 89 B's now in a trend you start to get these be prepared uh, for a lot of failures in this until you get divergence so if you see a deep pullback if you want to be conservative wait for divergence so the divergence one paid off your five ticks then it formed a t7 and by the way that was a loss and that's marked down as a loss then we had a uh, just moving along a little bit I won't go too many more because I think you're probably getting the drift here but um, here we had then a great t3 now this is another great example great t7 check your anchor chart look at this run and this is where either your 8 or your 11 EMA we then had a bounce you weren't filled up until um, and one two yep so you're still in that trade till over here so you missed out on this one which uh, um, would have been probably a loss anyway so if you had have taken this one you would have got your five ticks over here up here somewhere so ignore these two trades because you were still in it stay with the trade so your t3s will give you great returns now we rallied up here here was your first entry there it was a t3 that gave you five or six in that particular case uh, it wasn't a great return on that one it was five or six ticks there we then had a great 89b here it is here we then come up we had a, uh, a bounce let me just move this along here what have we got there a great pivot bounce 
with the trade master so we see we're about to bounce off a pivot I plot in advance here's my extended target and of course you are always thinking where's my likely support resistance area uh, which is here we then uh, had a 34 B but it was set, it was buying right into the floor pivot which is a danger again so moving along here we had a t3 again off the 535 now when you've got a t3 bouncing a t3 with a 535 it's almost to bet the farm trade thank you very much great move again thank you very much use your uh, uh, 8 or 11 EMA to stay in then we had a great t3 the paint bar did not plot till over here so no paint bar so would have plotted there nothing 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 now I've got I've got a new higher high hey got a reversal candle let me plot it here now it gives me a potential here and that was good eight ten ticks whatever that was all right stopped on that one winner on that one winner on that one 200 B I don't know what that one was so I won't go through results right now but then we had we can see we're rolling over this is where we had our triangle formation again uh, that was a bounce off the floor pivot then we had another t3 down here thank you very much great t3 setup then I had another 535 remember what was once support can then become resistance and as I close this off we're now 41 minutes into this okay so how do we stay in these moves well here you can use the 11 now here if you use the 11 you would have been out in this one you would have been in 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 it's probably a good eight to ten ticks but you closed on you're out but then you've got a 21 B traders it's giving you a projection you jump in on your 21 you've closed under your trigger line in you go again then you had a t3 again okay there's your extreme t3 uh, then you had your 34 then you formed a t7 then you had a 89 okay now these are all 100% mechanical that's what I love about this for traders that are struggling that is the rules are I must have the t1 plot or understand the pattern of why the t1 plots the super scalper uh, the trade master must confirm I think like a casino I take everyone we come down here we had divergence we bounce and guess what we hit the floor pivot I got stopped out in on the second one five ticks thank you there's my next one that plotted on thank you very much comes down I've got big picture divergence plotted it thank you very much that was a winner that was a loss but then your next one was a winner so traders um, it, it really is straightforward and as I mentioned where you can dramatically improve these is by when you're trading with the trend the, the counter trend trades by the way taking every one providing you have got divergence or it's a t3 if you've got a t3 you don't need to vote is a is a great winning strategy if you follow the rules of waiting for divergence or only trading t3s or your double bottoms double tops with your with trend trades uh, and you plot the trade master and let me just plot it here for you it gave me a final target of down here okay take your 21s take your 34s take your t25s all your trend trades in the direction and of course when you're heading up when you're heading to support or resistance you know to be ready to either front run by having your exit one or two ticks in front of that potential bounce or at least be ready to pull your stop straight up because you know that when you come down your floor pivots or other significant areas of support or resistance or what we call your round numbers on oil there's a good chance you're going to bounce <clears throat> excuse me so you can um, front run those but this is a winning strategy traders okay uh, here high risk I marked this one down we've gone to another day was at high risk right I'm right at the 200 and um, already an extended market okay no times of see here's a great t3 again here's another t3 is a winner my 89 a winner all traded now that was a loss by the way that was a that was actually a loss that one you can't see it now because I've rebooted but sometimes um when I reboot it doesn't show you all of the t1s but I plot these as before I restart the computer so um, I know that was a t1 so you would have been stopped on that one but hey you've had a ton already a ton of winning trades um, uh, on this day 
um, high risk uh, once again to take these straight after a t3 are high risk trades so traders I will ah this is one thing I just wanted to show you okay so remember earlier I mentioned about the t3s here's a closer swing high this t3 entry is a higher risk because it's not high and if see this t3 I've got here this is higher than that and that one that's a much more higher probability great reversal okay so when I have a t3 and it's lower than a high and vice versa the opposite is true okay this is a lower risk because it's lower than this swing high when I'm making new highs your t3s are a much more higher probability trade I want you to remember that t3s we are making new high highs or new high lows okay a much more high probability now here is just one example and I may as well just show you this two trades where you would have been stopped on these are included these are both legitimate t3s okay you you trade the t2s in the direction of the trend 21 B's or a t2 so when you get a failed t3 you want to you can reverse it works well and let me just plot the trade master here here it gave me two targets and there was a third target down below this low so you want to be taking these with trend trades as well so here you had a nice winner loss loss winner uh, you picked up your five ticks I think by the if not you still had a t7 all of those are included you then had um, uh, what day was this? this oh this is Friday Friday was quite a particularly tough day um, so Friday it's taking every single one and just to quote so Friday what date was that that was um, I just give you the date because it's a good day to go back over and apply it Friday the fourth fourth fifth of August there were uh, let's see 16 dark uh, was that 16 might have been um, oh, I can't remember anyway traders you're only up 15 ticks trading um, uh, of oh, its counter trend trading 15 ticks with trend 23 ticks so that was uh, 16 oh look I'm just losing track of um, how many trades there was in that time period but the bottom line traders was uh, you were still well and truly up but missing out on a lot of those other really good 34 B's and the other trades but long-winded hits <laughs> what I'm trying to say is if you still took everyone 100% mechanical um, uh, you still had a really nice winning day and as I said here take all t1s t2s 21 B's when you have the sweet spot as here so there was actually two losing trades you picked it up here so here's another uh, nice t3 a lower high but of course what I'm not including is our classic trend following trades so <laughs> it's getting a bit long-winded here now so let me wind this up so members uh, if you've got the indicator and you don't know how to use it following this the strategy I've got there it's a real winner if you're considering the trade master uh, indicator as much as it's not inexpensive it's a winner traders and particularly when you use the um, uh, our entry signals using the super scalper and combine that with our uh, t2s our t1s our t2s our t25 setups the 34 B's uh, it's it's lethal as far as results go so 48 minutes in I'm going to wrap this up thank you traders any questions please drop me an email at trader at I'm a day trader .com.